with anybody else that has experienced what I've experienced lately. But I feel my heart beating again. There are times where we go through dry seasons. There are times where we are so far apart from the Father's heart. And it's, there are so many distractions. There are so many things we can blame. There was a, we were praying in the back earlier. There was something that I, that I said in prayer that is really resounding in my heart right now. It's, Lord, move the mountains, even if the mountain looks like me. <laughs> Lord, move the mountain because I want you to move. I want you to build your kingdom. I want you to change the world. I want you to bring peace and love and joy. Everything that this world is so much in need of right now. And move every mountain to do it. Part every sea to do it. Even if that mountain looks like me. Even if that mountain looks like me. God, move me. Get me out of the way. The things that distract me. But what I find is when I pray like that, instead of discarding me, instead of pushing me aside, he just draws me closer to him. <laughs> so inevitably, I'm out of the way. But it's because I'm closer to him. And I can reflect his heart more fully. This is where I'm meant to be. Just me and him. Resting in his presence. Resting in his kindness. And I don't have to prove anything. I don't have to prove that I'm worthy because I'm not. So I don't have to prove it. So you know what? I'm sorry, but I'm done trying to prove it to you. <laughs> that he's already approved of me. He draws me so much closer to him the more I seek his face. <laughs> if, if you're not like involved in this reading of John as a collective church right now, you need to hop on board because the Lord is not only wrecking me, but how many else, how many of you other guys have been reading that and getting wrecked? Just, not just because it's the word of God, but because we are becoming unified as a body. Has anybody else felt that? I have felt so much closer to you as a church body than I have in the four years that I've been here. It's amazing what getting close to Jesus can do, Leah. And in that same that same thing, getting close to Jesus is exactly the world needs for me to be closer to Jesus. I can pray peace and love and healing in our land. That comes through us being closer to Jesus. Because the closer we are to him, the more we look like him. And the more we look like him, the more we act like him. And the more we act like him, the more there will be change in this earth. The more there will be change in this culture. The more there will be change in every aspect of this world. The closer we get to Jesus. This is where I'm meant to be. Me and you and you and me. I don't have to prove a thing. You've already approved of me. I want to sing this again. And if you're not close to Jesus right now, I want to, we want to open this as a space.
for you to ask him to bring you closer. Because there's nothing he wants more than to hold you close. There is nothing he wants more than to wrap you up in his arms. You might not understand what all of this means, but I think you can understand what it feels to be loved, what it feels to be wanted. Everybody understands that. Everybody longs and yearns for that. And there's nobody that loves or wants you more than Jesus. There's not a person in this room, as much as I love my wife, I love her with every, and that little girl, oh my gosh, y'all, I love her so much. But nobody loves her like Jesus loves her. I broke down crying one day singing Jesus loves me, or Jesus loves me to that little girl one night sitting at my piano at home and I broke down crying because I realized that as much as I love her I can't I can't touch how much Jesus loves her Jesus loves God loves you (laughs) and he wants you close so let's sing this again and take this moment to draw closer to him far away, ask him to bring you closer. And watch what he does. This is where I'm meant to be. Me and you, you and me. I don't have to prove a thing. You've already proved of me. This is Sit and grieve to bed.